In this video, I'm going to talk about our experiences using cork versus foam for the track underlay. I found these photos taken a couple of years ago of our first attempt at building up the track radiance. Keeping everything cheap steered most of our early decisions, and at the time, I didn't really know what the options were. The local hobby bloke said to use cork, so we bought cork. We grabbed a couple bags of cork rolls for a few bucks a bag. Since our tracks mostly curves, it took hours cutting up little angled pieces to glue down on the original plywood. This was fiddly work. Each piece had to be held down while the glue dried. There's nothing wrong with the cork, and we're still using it under the turnouts because it forms more of a solid base for mounting the switches. A year later when we started the layout again, we decided we didn't want to go through all that fiddly cork work again, as we'd still have all the same curves to deal with. We went into the local hobby shop one day and noticed the Woodland Scenics track bed product. Although I tend to avoid their products due to cost, I figured the split system would save us a lot of time in the curves. They also claim the foam is better for sound deadening and reducing vibrations. I've cut this strip a little bit, see that? The knife I cut it over there, and that way when we put it down there and go around this corner, we'll be able to bend it. See how it bends around? And then draw a line just at the end of that little bit of foam there. Just a little straight line so you can see where we have to do it. Good. Now what I'll do is I'll just get a pin in there. That's good. Yep, get a squeeze. A little bit more, that's enough. Alright. And just use the wet bit to wipe off the glue. It's really good. Now do you want to see if you can get rid of that little bit there too? Good job buddy. I'll give it a little scrape of this. So you can scrape in that corner, see that little corner there? Yeah. And wipe on there. Cool. Whoa. So now, you've got to cut along that side of the knife. A whole ruler. Good job. That's great. Overall we've been quite satisfied with the foam. It's taken a fraction of the time to install and when glued down with wood glue it'll peel back up nice and easy if you have to fix mistakes. We use two strip packs for our whole layout which costs a total of 40 bucks. It's 3mm high so it marries nicely with the cork under our turnout switches. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to keep us motivated. This is going to be a treasure bridge with wood over it and then we put it back on so it's going to be a treasure bridge.